Hi everyone and welcome back to another Nikki Uncut. In this Nikki Uncut, I'm going to take you on a journey of my most personally used products from the summer. So since we're going into fall and the weather's changing, my makeup style might change and be tweaked a little bit here and there, I want to just take you on a little a little a little journey on my summer and what I used, what I ended up using the most this entire summer. And it took me a minute to pull all these products because well, some of them were pretty much completely empty and were borderline about to be thrown out. But I always save like empties for just different reasons, like for filming and stuff. So luckily I held on to most of my products, even if they were on the brink of being completely empty. But I thought it'd be really fun to just take you on this journey and take a little trip back, trip down memory lane and just share what I used the most. So it's gonna be a little bit of a long one. Sit back, relax. Maybe grab a coffee, I don't know, grab whatever you want and um, let's just get right into it. So I wanna talk about complexion products first, the products I used the most this summer on myself, not on my makeup kit, that is totally different. Products I use the most on myself personally. Starting with this heavily used Tower 28, um, what do they call this, the Sunny Days Tinted Moisturizer. I have two shades in this, I actually have two, but like, borderline empty ones from the summer. This is really how much I use this this summer. Um, it's the, yeah, Sunny Days Tinted Moisturizer. This was my absolute favorite for a tinted moisturizer this summer. I used this so heavily, as you can see. I kind of flipped between two shades. Um, number 30 PCH was like probably my most used, but then I also used a ton of, what is this? Number 20, oh my gosh, number 25 Ocean Park. So these two were just on heavy rotation. Like these were like my Monday through Friday and sometimes the weekends, just my daily go-to. They just looked beautiful on my skin. They felt amazing. They have SPF 30 in them. I always wear a sunscreen underneath them, I which I do in general, no matter what my product says, it has SPF wise. So these were a top, top, um, in top rotation for me, I should say, during the summer. Um, fuller, Fuller coverage wise, we're gonna skip to like an actual foundation. This is extremely well loved and mainly throughout the summer, I use this as my like my source of a foundation. So if let's say I was like going somewhere and I was gonna film or I was gonna have a long day or an event after work or you know, whatever the case was, I found myself using this a ton. I'm, I'm, you can't tell on camera, but like I'm probably like at about this way, like this, I'm at this level of used. I'm not saying, I'm not articulating this very well at all. <laughs> and I've had tons of coffee, so I should be able to speak properly. But I use a lot of this, needless to say. It's the Exa foundation. It's the High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation. The shade that I use the most and that works so well with my complexion is the KB350. So this was on heavy, heavy rotation. And then another foundation product that I used a ton this summer and felt, um, it just felt amazing on my skin. This was highly recommended by Lisa J, who's also on YouTube, does incredible makeup tutorials. She loved this stuff and she's the reason why I went out and purchased it. It's the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I don't know why it's called a powder. It's not a powder, it's a cream foundation. Let me just show you. But clearly I hit pan with this and less is more with this product too. Like you don't need a ton of it. It gives you great coverage. It looks incredibly smooth on your skin. Like it does have a blurring effect to it. So I just felt like this was just uh, so easy to work with. It was one of those products like I could just grab it, throw it in my makeup bag, kind of do my makeup really quickly with it. It blends into my skin really quick. It just, it lasted really long on my skin too, which was also a big perk because summertime, you don't want your makeup to be sliding off your skin as you're wearing it. And this was just a, t a total hit, like a total, total hit. And you know, this is not like something you could only wear in the summer, obviously. This just happens to be, like summer is the time that this happened to be most heavily in my rotation of like products and it worked really well in the summer heat. So that's a good, like true testament to how great the product is, which I, I think is, you know, a selling point. So if you want a cream based foundation that stays put really well and just really has a gorgeous smoothing flawless effect to it, you should definitely, definitely try this. Also, by the way, I have the shade number four and it was like a perfect match for me. So moving on from like, foundation, tinted moisturizer type products. Let's get into concealer. My most used 
concealer by far, and this is my second tube of the Rare Beauty. It's the Under Eye Brightener. It's in the shade Light Medium. This is phenomenal. I loved, I mean, I still love it, obviously. I just, I've kind of moved on to like different products because I, I'm always, as you know, I'm always testing new products. It's part of my job, part of the reason why I'm here. But this was like my every single day go-to, no matter what. I went through the first tube of this pretty quickly because I was wearing it just constantly every single day. Like no matter what, I wore it to Pilates. I wore it to like, when I had no other makeup on, it just, it works so well with just everything. So phenomenal product, extremely lightweight, but does a really efficient job of giving you a brightened effect and giving you like a little hint of like color correction as well. And also a little bit of coverage. So it's kind of like an all in one for me. So love that heavily used during the summertime. Now let's skip to powders. Now you would think that like my loose powders were, would be like my most heavily used powders for the summer, but in actuality, it was really the pressed powders that I used the most because I found that I was always in a really big hurry doing my makeup in the summertime for some reason. And these powders were just my go-tos. Like I always, always had these in my makeup kit when I was like traveling to work, traveling for work, you get the idea. So the first one I wanna talk about is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the shade Breezy. You know, I love this. This was like my go-to almost every single day when I was going to work and just wanted something easy and lightweight to set my under eyes. And I didn't have to like take a loose, more messy powder with me in order to do that. So I hit pan on this pretty quickly. No, Tomas, no. I hit pan on this pretty quickly, as you can see, <laughs> because I was using it constantly and it's just such a great powder. Um, I have more oily skin, so this worked the best under my eyes as like a nice soft way of setting my under eye concealer. But if you're more dry, this is gonna be a great powder if you don't want that heavy powder feeling on your skin. Hence why it also was a really great powder for the summer. I just, it felt like very lightweight, like I didn't add a heavy layer of product on my skin and it wasn't like, something that was uncomfortable to wear on my skin when it's super hot and humid outside, if that makes sense. Now, this is not the best for touch-ups, I will say that. What's great for touch-ups and what I used heavily and had heavily on my rotation of products that I used this summer was the Soft Matte Powder from NARS. This came out and I, and what, when did it come out? Maybe like spring? It, whatever, I picked it up right away and I used it ever since. I have the shade Creek and Creek was just a great, I didn't hit pan necessarily, but I used it a ton. But Creek was great for like blurring. Let me just show you, because I'm sure I'm getting shiny. Great for blurring texture, great for mattifying on the go. You need a tiny little bit and it just gets the job done. So if you are more on the oily side or you get like shiny in the T-zone, I mean, even like dry skin, people out there, you could definitely use this and I don't think it would be like a heavy powder on your skin. But for oily skin, this is like a phenomenal touch of powder. So what do we dip into next? Let's see, let's do eyeshadow. So I had two eyeshadow palettes. Let me just get this from my dog. I'm sorry, baby. It's only when I film. Um, I had two eyeshadow palettes that I used so much during the summer. Um, the first one is a drugstore favorite. This is a Milani Gilded Mini Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Whiskey Business. This is just like, it's like the drugstore version with less colors of the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes Palette. At least that's what it reminds me of. It's got a great range of like neutral brown tones and also like some warm tones as well. But it's just a great everyday palette that you can use with any kind of eye look. So I use a ton of these for like my eyeliner, the dark ones for my eyeliner, the mid-tone shades I use obviously in my crease and like the light one as a base. It's just a beautiful, straightforward, extremely inexpensive eyeshadow palette. And it was heavily and still is heavily loved, but like, especially this summer, I could not stop using this. This has always been in my makeup bag to go. Okay, I know this is a Nikki Uncut and the whole point is to not cut it and just let it all roll. However, my dog started barking, I had to cut it out, so I'm back. You know, just forgive me, I had to cut for like a second. Back to the eyeshadows, this was my other most loved one from this summer. It's a gorgeous palette. It's the NARS Quad Palette, it's in the shade Laguna. So it's like, you know, Laguna has like its own 
series of products. It's kind of like Charlotte Tilbury has like the Pillow Talk series. NARS has like the Laguna series. But this palette is just beautiful. Like beautiful, sunsetty, beachy vibes. Um, I, I just love this palette so, so much. I took this to Miami on vacation. What else did I do with this? I feel like I did photos with this too. There was something else memorable that I did with this palette. I'm drawing a blank. My summer was a blur. But I use this a lot and it was just a beautiful, beautiful palette. So those are my two most used pa eyeshadow palettes from summer. In keeping with eyes, you know, <laughs> this matte shadow stick from Girlactic got so much use on both myself and in my makeup kit. I have one for myself, obviously, and I have another one in my pro makeup kit along with some other shades like Skin is one of my favorites and Blush from Girlactic in the matte shadow sticks. But this one for me is the shade Nutmeg. Nutmeg I used daily. And the good thing about it is I could either use it in a hurry, like just all over as my eyeshadow base and just, or as my eyeshadow and just completely leave it. Or I would use it as my base or my crease color and I would put either of these on top. So this was like so frequently used, I found myself getting almost bored with it. Cause you know, you, I just, I couldn't stop using it. I use it every single day practically in the summer. So great product. I still love it obviously, but this was like heavily, heavily in rotation. Now, where should we go after that? What journey should we, should I take you on next? I have a ton of very used and kind of semi-dirty products in front of me. Let's go with mascara. You know, I know this came out just pretty recently, like the tail end of summer, but I used this up really quickly. I could not stop using this daily. It's the Huda Beauty One Coat Mascara or One Coat Wow Mascara. I found that it was great up until like the last week or so, like the, like, the tail end of it when it was pretty much down to the bottom. It was completely like running out. Once it got to that point of being like running out of formula inside, it started to flake a little bit and to run a little bit more than it ever did. So that was the only like downside of this mascara. Other than that, this formula is really, really impressive. Loved it. Never used it on my bottom lash line because during the summertime, I always skip applying mascara on my bottom lashes because if it's hot and I'm outside and I'm working outside, I don't want to have like that transfer of mascara. So I just, I leave it alone. I put a little shadow down there, call it a day. So it never ran on the top lashes, but I never tested it on the bottom. Just something to point out. For eyeliner, let's move on to eyeliner because I had two that were so, so heavily used this summer. One's a liquid, it's the Urban Decay 24 seven inks liner in the shade Whiskey. I don't know why, it seems like every product that I like end up loving so much is has Whiskey in the title, which is really funny. Um, Cause I used to be able to drink Whiskey, not now not so much, but um, it's just a beautiful, really dark, rich brown liquid liner. And the good thing about this and also why I used it so much in summer is it does not move from your eyes. So phenomenal, long lasting, long wearing. The other eyeliner is a pencil. You may not be surprised. This is like my daily go-to. I put this in my top waterline almost every single day. Um, I went through, this was like my second one and the brand is like really kind to me. Obviously I work with them. I have a bundle with them. This is part of my bundle with Girl Active that you can still get along with Nutmeg, which you probably already know by now. But so anyway, needless to say, every time I run out of this, um, my friend Galit, who is the owner of the brand, she's phenomenal. She's like just the sweetest person on earth. She always sends me like a backup. So I'm never out of my pure brown, which is amazing. Cause it's like one of those, it's kind of like the equivalent of like having a go-to eyebrow pencil for me, like something that I use every single day, no matter what. And once I run out, like I have to replace it. That's what this is. Long wearing, doesn't run, doesn't get messy, stays put, all the good things. Let's jump into, well, speaking of brows, cause I kind of said, I kind of brought up eyebrows. Let me show you my most used products for brows this summer. First one being, from Patrick Ta. This is the Major Brow Lamination Gel. I went through two of these this summer. One I tossed, this is the end, like the very end of my second tube. This is like literally major lamination, like exactly what it says in the name. This will laminate your brows and it will hold them in place through 
the hottest day in summer. Like literally I wore this every day. I put brush this into my brows after I did my pencil. I use this as like a finishing step for me because I found that if I use this first to laminate my brows then I couldn't really get my pencil to adhere to my skin. So I had to like switch the order in which I would typically use something like this. But this is phenomenal. This actually works. I just wanna show you. Just as good as the got to be styling spiking glue, which you know, I love this product. This is like, also like you could put this in your brows and your brows will not move for days. This is like the easier, like more travel friendly version of what this does. So this was heavily used during the summer. And the other product, like the most used pencil from this summer and like specifically was also from Patrick Ta. It's the Patrick Ta Major Brow Pencil. Is that what it's called? The right on this is so small. It's like, okay, yeah. I just need glasses <laughs> when I do this stuff. Um, the shade that I wear is dark brown. The reason why I love this pencil so much is it's like a micro pencil. So super precise, super thin. You don't get like a chunky, thick line. You can draw like <clears throat> really nice, fine hair-like strokes, which I really appreciate because I'm every time I do my brows, I'm creating a brow from scratch. So if that's something that sounds like you, if you could relate to that, then you will love this brow pencil. Also, the other reason why I liked it so much is it didn't smudge. It didn't like get um, too shiny throughout the day, which for me, the combination of wearing sunscreen every day under my makeup and having semi oily skin, and then also having no brow hair and just like basically filling a brow in on top of bare skin. Every product that I, have typically used in the past always ends up getting super shiny throughout the day because just naturally, you know, my body heats up the product. It ends up slipping and sliding and moving around. This does not. This has an extremely impressive wear time. This was my second tube or my second brow pencil that I, I went through this summer. So this was quite a combo for me, quite a winning combo this summer. And lastly, on the brow topic, it wouldn't be right if I didn't mention that I went through two of these this summer. I held on to them. They're my favorite. They're the best four to five dollars, depending on where you buy them, that you could spend on your brows. They are the Wow Brow from Elf. I use the shade Dark Brown, I think. It always, this always comes off at the end. Oh wait, no, it's right here. Just kidding. Yeah, Deep Brown. I use Deep Brown. But they're a fiber rich formula. So that's great also if you have sparse brows and you want to give them like that fake you wanna fake it till you make it and give them like that fluffy look, even though they are not naturally. The fibers in this really grip onto your the brow hair that you do have and give them a fuller, thicker look naturally. It's also very long wearing. So this was like my go-to, it still is, but like this was so heavily used this summer that I went through multiples. What should we move on to? Let's move on to mascara. And, oh wait, I already did mascara. That's right, I talked about the Huda Beauty. Well, I have a drugstore one that I loved as well that I forgot to mention when I, we were on the subject of mascara. But this might not be a surprise. I'm sure you've seen me use this a lot like on my Instagram and my YouTube. It's from Lottie London. So it's a super um, inexpensive formula. It's it's an inexpensive, inexpensive brand. It's a drugstore brand. You can get this at walmart.com or in store at Walmart. I don't know where else they sell it to be honest. I'm not sure if Amazon carries it, but it's the Lottie London Super Fake Mascara. And this is a phenomenal, phenomenal drugstore mascara. Doesn't run, doesn't smudge, has a great small brush, which I really love and appreciate because I can get in there and really fine tune and detail my lashes. It's just a great formula. Trust me on this one. Let's move on to bronzer. Let's do bronzer. And my most used cream bronzer from summer, from the summer is from LYS. I, I love this brand and the Actually, it stands for Love Yourself, which I think is so cute. And just, I love like their messaging and just the overall brand. I love that it's female owned. They're a great brand. If you could pick up any of their products, I highly recommend so many of their products. You can't go wrong with any of their stuff to be quite honest, but probably one of my top favorite products from the brand is their cream bronzer. This is like butter gliding on your skin. It's so easy to use. It's so heavily pigmented too. It's like a pro product, like pro level pigments are in this cream bronzer. So needless to say, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need like a ton of it. You don't have to go over it back and forth to get like the color payoff that you want. It's like instant color payoff and just easy, easy to blend on. Like it just blends into your skin like 
butter, literally. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just a magical bronzer. So I have the shade Harmony. And also just to make sure I said that out loud, it's the No Limits Cream Bronzer. So stick form, quick, easy, gets the job done, compact. What more could you want? For powder bronzer, the one I use the most, I mean, I have so many powder bronzers. I have so many bronzers in general. As you know, I did a whole a huge bronzer haul. I bought every single bronzer that is sold inside of Sephora. I can talk. This was one of my all-time favorites from that video. It's the Laura Mercier Baked Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer, um, Baked Powder Bronzer. I swear I can talk. And I have the shade Bronze 03. This is just a beautiful bronzer. Very lightweight, very buildable, very skin-like. Doesn't look heavy. Feels amazing. Layered like perfection on top of all my summer favorite like complexion products, like my base, you know, the powders, all that stuff. This layered perfectly on top. But also, it's worth mentioning, it layers perfectly on top of the LYS and is a great way to like set it and lock it into place. So heavily on my rotation. I also use this a lot as my eyeshadow just when I was in a hurry and just want something quick and easy. This was like a daily eyeshadow crease color. It's a great one. Okay, let's talk about blush because I feel like I rotated a lot with blushes this summer and the only one that stood out to me as like my go-to that I used so, so much this summer was Bloom from Persona Cosmetics. So Bloom is a limited edition shade. I believe it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, they did this with um, Sarah Woolock. Um, she's the one that came up with this color. So I'm pretty sure it's limited edition, but I guess I'd have to look into it. Anyway, Bloom is like the most stunning pink. I mean, it's, just, it's beautiful. That's That's it. That's all I can say about it. I used Bloom like almost every single day. And when I was thinking about like powder blushes and what I used the most this summer, cream blush was definitely the most heavily used for sure. But when I think about a powder that I, I grabbed the most this summer, it was definitely the Too Faced Cloud Crush and the shade Golden Hour is the one that I have. It's the only one I have in this formula. And Golden Hour was just, just beautiful. I didn't realize it smelled good. Oh, I can't believe I never noticed that. Did I notice that before? It was just the bronzer. I don't remember the blush smelling good, like candy. Anyway, the shade is gorgeous. Uh, oh yeah, I used it all the time. It was heavily, heavily used this summer. Now let's go on to... Actually, let's go back to an eyeshadow because I forgot to mention this when we were talking about eyeshadow. It wouldn't be right if I didn't mention how much I used the About Face. It's the Fractal Eye Paints. They're basically like a liquid eyeshadow. They're super easy to use, but the shade Smolder. If you know me and you're not new to my channel and you're used to watching my tutorials, you're probably laughing because I use this to the absolute very end. Like there's nothing, I don't think there's anything left in this tube. Like it's bone dry in there. I do have a backup now, but this is the one I used all summer long and it's just, if you know, you know, that's all I'm gonna say. And then we'll move on because I could talk about this for a really long time, like an extensive long time. Now let's go to one more complexion product that I forgot to mention and it wouldn't be right if I didn't mention this. It's my soft matte concealer from NARS. I have the shade Tiramisu. Now Tiramisu is the shade that works for like spot concealing. Let's say I have a, like a pimple or just something on my complexion, like extra redness or something that I want to cover up. Nothing under my eye. I didn't use this under my eye, but this is, I mean, it still is like heavily on rotation. I still use this daily. Like, let's say I have allergies one day, which I get allergies all the time. And I, yeah, my nose is red from like allergies and blowing it. I'll just touch up with this and it's like instant makeup is perfect again. I'm done. I can move on. So this is just a must for me. The fact that it doesn't slip and slide on your skin like other concealers can, like liquid concealers, it made it ideal for the summertime. And also worth mentioning, this just layered perfectly on top of my Tower 28 Tinted Moisturizer. And so again, just it all goes back to like in the summertime when it's hot and it's humid and you're running around and you're working and you're outside or whatever it is, you just want makeup that works well together and it's gonna stay put and like be layerable and just just works well together. So these were like all the products that worked 
incredibly well together for me and my skin this summer. Let's move on to lip. Wow, we're already at lip? It's kind of sad. Okay. So I get really excited for lip. I got I have to adjust myself and get comfortable because I get really excited for lip products and I think these are still like my favorites, obviously. Like I I just because it's not summer anymore and it's fall. These are still like my favorite lip colors, so don't don't be mistaken. But these happen to be the most used lip colors for me personally, not my kit, this summer. So where do we start? Let's start with Girlactic because I use this so much. It's not even funny. It's my Jello Gloss Balm. I mean, this was like, when I tell you this was my daily run it, like put it on and run out the door or like put it on and like run into work, this was it. Like I love these I love the formula. I love the shades. Barely Nude is my go-to. It's my, like, my jam. Like, we're best friends forever. Um, yeah, I can't even show you that because it's, like, I've, like, it's been devoured on my lips too many times. But the other shade that I love, too, that's worth mentioning is Magnolia. I use this one, too, a lot. But most used-wise, Barely Nude Jello Gloss Balm was it. From there, when I was, like, going to dinner feeling fancy, or let's say I was going to an event after work, if I had something to like, to go to, like an event, like I said, this was my lipstick. This is, oh, it's like somebody, Clay Poe captured my favorite kind of color and put it in a liquid lipstick. It's like literally everything I've ever wanted in a lip color for me personally. This is like my kind of shade. This is Chocolate Cosmos. It's the most stunning just I how do I describe it I don't even know it just it's just the most perfect like natural nude pink that's like the best way to describe it like if you're a bride and you want like a long lasting lipstick that feels comfortable doesn't feel like thick and heavy and dry on your lips and you want like that perfect like romantic nude pink you have to get chocolate cosmos I know it's expensive trust me I get it um but it's worth it. It's so, so worth it. The way this feels on your lips is like nothing else. So it's basically a liquid lipstick, but they call it a lip cream. And it does feel like a cream. It feels like a moussey, like whipped soft kind of texture. That's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I would swatch it for you. I really would, but I don't want to waste what's left of it, which is not much. So this was like my evening out when I want to like jazz up my makeup or feel fancy or have something to attend. And the other two lip products that I used the most is the Fenty Gloss Balm Heat. So this is like the lip plumping version of the gloss balm that they carry in the shade 03. This is just like the perfect like sheer nude gloss. Love this one. And then the other one, which was kind of a surprise to me, I ended up using this so much that I'm almost out of this shade. This is Rosy Pink or Rosy Kiss. It's the Huda Beauty Lip Blush. So it's like the lip cheek stain combo. I actually did not like this as a cheek stain at all. I did not think that it worked well in that, um, for that use. But as a lip stain, these are great. They're really, really great. So I wish they just marketed them as only a lip product and not a cheek because it's a little like, they're just not good as a cheek thing, like I said. But the shade that I loved the most, that I used the most was Rosy Kiss. Rosy Kiss is like a, uh, a blush mauve, like a natural blush tone with hints of mauve. It's just gorgeous. Use that a ton. Now we have to move on to lip liners because you know I'm a lip liner fanatic. I love lip liners. I should show you my lip liner collection someday because I have so many. It's uh, I shouldn't be allowed to buy any more lip liners is what I'm getting at. But the most used ones from the summer are these four. So let me show you, let me tell you what four shades they are. No surprise here, Milk Chocolate from Makeup by Mario. I've been obsessed with this since like the beginning of this year. I've been using it ever since. Milk Chocolate is a go-to mine. This is a deeper, um, it's more of a neutral undertone brown. Works so well with nude lip colors, peachy, pinks. I mean, reds, I wear this with everything. So that's like my like, I guess, like, a, if you're trapped on a deserted island, like, what lip liner would you pick to wear with every single lip color? This would be it. The next one that I used a ton, and I'm talking, like, a ton, is Hazelnut from 
um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is actually what I have on right now in this video. Hazelnut is just a beautiful, natural, pinky nude lip liner. Goes with, um, goes with my Girlactic, it goes with Chocolate Cosmos, goes with any of these. So it's was heavily used this summer. And then the other one from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I loved, and I don't know what took me so long to get this shade in particular, but Deep Taupe. Deep Taupe, I love so much. I went out and purchased one from my professional makeup kit and I use it constantly in my pro kit because it's a gorgeous deep taupe, basically. Uh, love that. Used it a ton. And the last one that I used heavily, um, especially because it's a twist up, so I didn't have to like worry about sharpening it. Or like, let's say I threw this in my purse to just be on the go and like to apply my makeup on the go or like for touch-ups, like lip touch-ups on the go. This was great because you don't have to sharpen it. You just twist it up. So this is the shade Worthy from Rare Beauty. Also love the fact that these are an extremely long wearing pencil. Like they don't move They in a good way. They don't feel dry and like heavy, but once they're on your lip, they're phenomenally long wearing. So great formula, feels super comfortable, really easy to apply and work with. This shade in particular is just a beautiful soft pink, like soft neutral pink. So right up my alley, my favorite kind of product. And then last but not least in this video, we're gonna talk about setting sprays. Now, I don't know why I'm shaking them. Like I'm gonna use them. I'm not even gonna use them. It's such a habit to like pick up a setting spray and start shaking it as if you're gonna put it on in that moment. I'm not gonna put it on in, that, in this moment. I've already done my makeup. Um, so the ones I've used the most this summer, we're gonna start with this one because this is the one I started with, like I started this summer using the most and it's the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Alcohol-Free Long-Lasting Setting Spray. Great, straightforward, does the job setting spray. Like MAC does setting sprays, they're top notch, you know, like it's MAC, like they, they never screw up setting sprays. Um, this, in my opinion, is way better than the All Nighter from Urban Decay like way better in my opinion. I doused my face in this during the summertime to lock my makeup in. And let me tell you, it makes a big difference. It's not like a placebo effect where like you feel like you're doing something. No, like this actually really does do something. So heavily used, I have like a little bit left of this one. And then one that I have to mention because I started using this, when did I start using this? Like maybe like, well, I guess I started using this like mid July maybe. Um, I got it from the brand. Thank you, Milk. Milk sent me their Pore Eclipse Mattifying Setting Spray. I have to like really look at this because this entire contain or this entire labeling is black. So it's like, if you're not looking at it in the right light, you can't see what the heck it says. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a mattifying setting spray. What I really loved about this one, if I'm being completely honest, well, I love like the aesthetic of it is just sleek. It's cool. It's like, if Batman had a setting spray, like this is what it would look like, I imagine. That's just like cool. But the real the real reason why I love this one so, so much, I'm going to be really real, is this the sprayer. So let me just see if I can show you. See how like fine that is and how like it just comes out like really like just fine. Like it just, it's not like an assault. It's not too aggressive. It's not going to leave little patches on your makeup like a lot of setting sprays tend to do because their sprayer is so like like hard. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that sound effect. Um, this was not, it's not like that at all. Like it's just a very fine, soft mist. So they did a killer job of the actual like sprayer, which I really appreciate because, you know, I've talked about this a lot in the past. There's no, nothing worse as a makeup artist than doing a beautiful makeup job on your client or yourself. And then that last step, you go to finish the makeup with the setting spray and you don't like fully test it out or you get like that little like air bubble in it where it goes and it like sprays like a an aggressive amount like like it makes like a blotchy spray on your face and it ruins the makeup because it leaves little patches nothing worse than that so anyway that's why i really appreciate a good sprayer that is going to wrap up this nikki uncut i could talk about makeup forever so i'm going to have to stop myself and like reel it in so this is not like a two hour long video but these were all of my most used summer products. Like the products I use the most this summer. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your most used products were from this summer. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you just couldn't live without and what just saved your skin and your makeup in the hot weather. 
Um, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have plenty more Nikki and Cuts. You can kind of go back and watch the rest and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Shake it.